We're interrupting your regular programming with some breaking news. Israel has initiated a retaliatory strike against Iran. However, in case the Israeli regime embarks on adventurism again and takes action against the interests of Iran, the next response from us will be immediate and at a maximum level. There are reports this evening that other places, Iraq and Syria, have been hit. This U.S. senior official said they simply cannot confirm that. when people are talking about, hey, are we watching the makings of, of World War III, uh, your response? So we are seeing a regional conflict. So everything that the, the U.S. was concerned about has happened. We didn't know when it would come. And of course, this is in response to that massive missile salvo from last Saturday, the largest ballistic missile salvo in history. And of course, Iran has said that if Israel chooses to respond, their Iranian response would be severe and immediate. Local media is reporting explosions in the Iranian city of Isfahan. Isfahan sits about 200 miles to the south of the Iranian capital of Tehran. At this location, there is an Iranian nuclear facility. There are also reports of activity at other locations across Iran. This is significant because, remember, the initial reporting leading up to tonight had to do with what might be a limited Israeli response to this large-scale attack last weekend. That said, I don't want to be hyperbolic and start talking about World War III. Yes, uh, there, this is significant, but it can be de-escalated and it can be put back in the box. And that's really going to come with, uh, with the world superpowers stepping in and talking to both sides, obviously the United States with Israel, Russia with Iran, and talking about the need to contain and de-escalate. So we'll see, as Elizabeth said, just how significant these were, attacks were or weren't, and whether this could be the end of it, and whether Iran will then respond. But it is important to point out, this is how World War I started. It was, a, uh, it was something that essentially spiraled out of control. I don't think this is gonna happen here, uh, but it is very concerning, and it is something that uh, everybody should be paying attention to because it definitely affects uh, every everybody uh, right now. Again, the Israelis have a variety of targets they could hit, not just inside Iranian territory, but across the region, understanding that Iran's IRGC has bases in places like Iraq and Syria, and they're also supporting Shia militias that are operating mm. in those areas that give them what has been described to Fox News as a, an octopus's tentacles across the Middle East, stretching Iranian influence, not only to mm. threaten Israel, but also to threaten American forces across the region. Because as we saw since the October 7th massacre and the regional tension that followed, numerous attacks against American bases across the Middle East. And so part of this response likely to strike fear into these Iran-backed Iraqi uh, and Syrian Shia militias that are operating across the region. And if it is confirmed in Isfahim, this city that is just about 200 miles to the south of Tehran, this would be significant because it shows the Israelis are stepping mm -hmm. up their strikes against Iranian nuclear facilities. You might remember back in 2020, it was November of 2020, the Israelis in a covert operation killed the top Iranian nuclear scientist, Mohammad Fahar Sadi. Now, this is a man who was responsible for years when it came to Iran's nuclear program and their developments toward a nuclear weapon. Remember, when the Iran nuclear deal from 2015 collapsed, Iran started enriching uranium closer and closer to weapons grade material. Mm. And the biggest concern for Israel was that they would ultimately create a nuclear weapon and then attach that warhead to a ballistic missile, like a missile that was fired toward mm. Israel over the weekend and target the Jewish state with such a projectile. We understand the breakout period is anywhere from just zero days to, to a, a, a matter of days and, and possibly even a week, according to international observers. And the concern for Israel is that they could use this enriched uranium to create a nuclear bomb that would target this country.